I have a new toy. The new toy, it is this new beautiful Rode mic, which I'm hoping will give us ridiculously creamy audio. Everyone said to fix the lighting, so I fixed the, the audio. So stupid loop. Now you might be wondering why it sounds exactly the same, and that's because currently we're on the old mic and we are switching to the new mic in three, two, one, boom. Are you getting that creamy audio? How amazing is this microphone? It's so creamy. That is some audible chocolate coming over you. Let it caress you, come over you, wash over you in waves, slip inside your ears. Bang those sweet, sweet eardrums of yours like tiny little bongos. Like a little bongos. This is no longer about comedy or entertainment. This is an ASMR channel. That's right, everybody. Just feel that tingle. Oh, okay. Let me get my shit together. People don't like long intros. In fact, most people don't even like intros at all. So you know what? Going forwards, I am going to be dropping almost all intros. However, however, there is a whole bunch of new subscribers to this channel. Yay! And many of which have asked me to explain how this channel works. So indulge me for a, this momentary diversion, of course, while I explain this channel and its future for y'all. And I promise to make this as quick and as snappy as possible. But if you really want to skip ahead, I've dropped the timestamp that you'll need to get to the good stuff in the video description. This video is part of a series where I effectively share random content I find from the internet with you guys, the viewers. The raw content can be anything from a guy trying to ride an ice Sorga, or a dog who finally catches his tail. Oh, he's out. From there, it's down to you guys, your cook-up jokes, hot memes, and most importantly, cringy puns. I'm looking at you, Liam. I'll use your jokes and memes to create material for the next upload. So it's effectively your jokes with my spin and embellishments that create these videos. This series is called Open Mic. Historically, I've only ever shared the content in video and asked that you leave whatever jokes you bake up in the comments section. However, after receiving over 1600 comments on the last open mic upload, tirelessly clawing through each and every single one to read your jokes, I really hope I didn't miss any. I definitely need to make things more efficient going forward, otherwise I'll drown in a sea of comments and never get any videos out. So how do we remedy this? Firstly, the comment section is still a great place for you to leave your funnies. If you want to leave a joke that gets featured in the next open mic video, please do so using the hashtag OM so I can do a control F job and find those bad boys easily. Second, a bunch of people have been asking for a Discord server, so I opened a subreddit. Some stupid loop. I'll be introducing the subreddit properly later, but for now, all that you need to know is that I'll be posting the raw content for open mic on the subreddit. You'll be able to reply to that post directly if you wanna get your jokes featured in the next open mic upload, or if you've thought of the perfect meme for this situation, or even better, if you wanna make one yourself, post it and give it the open mic flair. Now this series, will have its own unique playlist which I will pin to the channel page and each video will vary widely in length. Some will be long, some will be short. But in addition to this series, I will also be experimenting with a whole bunch of new content. Much like my cursed how-to thumbnail video last week, I might be reacting to a subreddit <gasps> or eating a big ass squid for more ASMR. I'm kidding. There's no f***ing way I'm reacting to a subreddit. Or throwing in my two pence on some hot YouTube beef like Keemstar and H3H3 going to town on each other's asses. Also, gaming. Many people want to see me jump in the gaming hot seat, and I will, rest assured. So that's how this works. You'll get one open mic night video, and then there'll be some other video which is experimenting with new content styles and themes and trends. And if we spark upon something that is uh, mutually enjoyed by myself and the community, then we might make it a regular thing in a new series if we discover something. I hope that will make sense and as ever I'm really interested in your thoughts and views so if you have any ideas for this channel make yourself known in the comments or get your butt over to the subreddit. So for now that's how this will be playing out and that is my one time intro out. From henceforth it will be straight down to business no tickling or nothing. Now prepare yourself for the real show. Your comments on last week's open mic upload were so deep. I mean I mean deep. Today we'll be exploring social nuance and complex emotional themes. These won't be just sweaty, low-hanging, sweaty, I mean really sweaty puns and rinse and repeat memes. No, this will be an intellectual exploration of the human spirit, resilience and fortitude. Ah, who am I kidding? 
you better strap in for some sweaty puns. Now, I think the best way to approach this one is a good old fashioned studio analysis. So let's just jump straight in. So here we are in the workplace and this unsuspecting worker is about to head into the freezer for some supplies and already I know exactly what you're thinking. This is gonna be a classic lock em in prank. And that would be fair, we've all done it. Your sister, your brother goes to the toilet, you drop the toe on the door, put your shoulder against it, you awkwardly wait for them to finish pissing, then you hold them in there while they struggle with the handle. And it's hilarious until they panic just a little bit too much and you realize that you're in a world of shit when they finally get out. And when our friend tries to leave, the door is jammed. The classic lock my coworker in a walk and freezer until he freezes to death trap is sprung. And he immediately thinks that this is the case too. He's getting the old locked up treatment. And to be fair, it sounds like this priors Bro, that ho be locking on me. i mean that ho be locking on him but after a little bit of panic it turns out that the door was just jammed a little and there was no foul play but this is exactly when you should be most on guard this is the moral of the story if you learn anything from these uploads which is extremely unlikely it's this you're most vulnerable after success never let your guard down elsewise the universe is more than prepared to wreck thyself where you have not checked yourself unfortunately for our friend here he was unchecked in his excitement to get free from his icy prison and he totally forgets how to walk in the end it wasn't the hose that played him congratulations you played yourself out of curiosity you think he's a dj Khaled kind of guy now nah, he definitely looks more like he's into Slip hop. Oh man, it's so bad. <laughs> so really, who got the last laugh here? Is that her? She is loving this. Although she really shouldn't be playing these kind of irresponsible games in the workplace, she should know better. I guess it slipped her mind. To think this workplace rivalry all started because he'd be slipping into that hose DMs like... <laughs> Thanks for everyone who posted a joke and for making me chuckle. Some really great ha-has and uh, some honorable mentions for today's video that I didn't get a chance to fit in, but they are Ojis Mahan, Octave, and the random commenter, just to name a few. There were many others, and I thank you all. Now, what comes next is the part where I share some raw content with you guys without any commentary from myself for you to digest and mull over. Whatever witty jokes and nonsense comes to you, leave in the comment section using the hashtag OM or get over to the subreddit where you'll also find the latest open mic clip and you'll be able to contribute to the next upload by replying with your jokes or posting related memes using the open mic flair. Here's the clip. I mentioned the subreddit and here she is in all her glory. The r forward slash LDC subreddit is where we can carry on the party between uploads night and day. I also want to thank my buddy John for setting this bad boy up over the weekend. Thanks, dude. So if you can't get enough of this channel and you want to be shooting the breeze with myself and other LDC diehards, then head on over to the subreddit. The link is also in the description of this video below. Feel free to use the subreddit as a place to recommend suggestions and give feedback for the show. I always Always need tons of viral videos so if you've got ones that you want to share chuck them on the subreddit or if you think there's other stuff you want to make other suggestions for other videos then feel free to leave that on the subreddit too and we can pick up the conversation there it's been so exciting seeing this channel blow up in the last four weeks i know relatively speaking compared to some of the bigger youtubers that you probably like 10,000 subscribers may not be that many but to myself it is a phenomenally large amount of people watching my content and being kind enough to subscribe to the show so that is super super awesome and so this leads us to my favorite part of each upload and um, we're going to add some more dps to the waff so going up this week are these beautiful people welcome to the wall of fame so where should we put you? I think I think Central's looking pretty good. Let's get you up there. Nice. Welcome to the Wall of Fame, guys. Now, if you want to get yourself on the WAF, firstly, you have to have a display picture. That's criteria number one. Second, you need to make yourself known in the comments. I pick some out at random, and sometimes I pick some that stand out. So just have a plug. Leave a comment and who knows, maybe you'll end up there. Thanks for your time, guys. It's been really great entertaining you and stay safe out there. Oh yeah, man. Best day on the job. This job is gonna be great. Are you sure about that? Yes.